Cat Cantina. This is Stephanie. Please feel free to subscribe. Hit the bell when I help so you know when I upload more content. Hit the like button and we share away here. Share away. We love Star Wars. Uh, today isn't just about Star Wars. It's about uh, SJWs infiltrating uh, every piece of media they can find, including Comic Skate. So this is my first actual mention of Comic Skate. So have fun. Be ready because it's a rant. song is cathartic I just want you all to know um anyway uh just looking at different things and <laughs> just seeing some tweets from people I've never had any anything to do with but I know who they are because I do follow comics gate and comics gate and star wars gate and the fandom menace are like this it's like a a, a a family. Okay. So this Gail Simone posts, uh, we're, you know, we're driving the bus bitches about, you know, SJWs run, running comics. She's one of the people who attacks independent comics a lot, like Ethan, uh, you know, Edwin Boyette, um, uh, and uh, my friend uh, Ted, Doug Tenopel, you know, a lot, a ton of different people. Um, you know, then we've got Renfamous, who is infamous across the internet for being a complete harpy, freakazoid, blue-haired land whale. You know, guys, I know you don't live in the real world, okay? I know that everything is driven by your bizarro ideological uh, lens. Um... People don't read comics or go to movies to be lectured about diversity and have shit shoved down their throats that they don't want shoved down their throats. They buy them for escape. They buy them because they have a hobby, but they, they buy them because they like it. Uh, some of these people who are pissed off at you right now might even agree with you. But again, when you put your, 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 your garbage into entertainment, you ultimately fail. Uh, this is the, the, the absolute ridiculousness of it, and they don't realize it. Look at the failures at the box office. Look at how bad the box office in Hollywood's doing. Comic book stores are closing all over the place. The only people that I can see that are actually doing really well right now are independent comics. And you guys are angry. You attack Ethan, uh, ad nauseum to the point where um, I think he's taken out uh, a lawsuit against uh, a couple of people. Um, you know, you, 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 I mean, Edwin Boyette's been swatted. Uh, Doug is constantly on Twitter defending himself. It's time to stop, ladies. You have a one shit. If your business fails, then you lost, okay? Just like with Lucasfilm. If everything you put out there is garbage, the Star Wars, and, and you chase away your base for an imaginary base that doesn't exist, that you think you're going to create, you failed! How hard is that to figure out? In fact, what world do you live in where everything you do you think is going to be a success when you're shoving crap down people's throats that don't want to hear it? You know, tell you what, not everybody lives in the, in, in the, in the, uh, open toilet bowl that is San Francisco or Los Angeles. No one wants to. I mean, think of the irony of this. The Hollywood Walk of Fame, 
is right around the corner from one of the biggest homeless tent cities in California. How bizarre, how ironic, okay? Heck, where's a Lucasfilm? People drive town, crap on the streets. And you guys think that's great. You guys think that's awesome. You guys think that's civilization. No, it's not. It's bullshit. It's disgusting. And you go after people who don't want to live like that, who don't want your uncivilized barbarianism shoved in our throats because somehow we're wrong. Hey, I, I don't care what you think. I would never censor you. Stop trying to censor the rest of us. Okay, we live in a country where the First Amendment to the Constitution of the United States is a guaranteed right of free speech. You have absolutely no right to try to censor Ethan, Ted, Edwin, any of us. You have no right to take away our, 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 our ability to voice an opinion just because you don't like it. Just because you're such an insecure bunch of balls of soy poison goo. I'm sick of it. I, I, I mean, I can't even anymore. You know, we all got to live in this world together. Okay? We all do. You guys are watching your businesses dry up, people not going to movies, people not buying comic books, buying novels because of the shit you put into them. But then instead of going, you know, maybe we need to change, you blame us for pointing it out. Hey! It's not my fault. I said, you know, you really probably shouldn't have put that in the book because A, the character was never like that to begin with. B, you're going to, you know, you're going to upset the fans and C, it doesn't make any sense. And it's not Star Wars or, or, you know, no one wants to see, see that in Captain America. I mean, if you want to go independent and do that, fine. I mean, hey, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Gail, how about you and Renfamous get together, combine your fat globules and go independent and make independent comics? Show Ethan, Edwin, and Doug, okay? Why don't you do that instead of harassing them? Hey! That's what people do. You have an opportunity. Wow. Take a chance with it. Invest your money. Take a risk, just like they did, okay? What an amazing idea. I would if I were you, all right? You know, if I had something to say, do it. Do it. We'll see how good you, you do, okay? And as for the SJWs in the film industry, all right, and, and all right, Cecil, whom I love, and we all know him from World Class Bullshitters and Doomcock and... Uh, Ethan and uh, 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 Geeks and Gamers posted a another tweet, which is just next Friday when Captain Marvel appears and falls on her flat ass. Schools are now uh, doing field trips to go see it. 20 bucks, you can get popcorn, your ticket and everything. Okay, that's how desperate Disney is. Why? Because you got flat-ass Brie attacking the fans, and she doesn't have to really come out and say she hates white men, but her words did say that. Uh, you know, what was that? I I don't really care about it. Uh, what, what did she say? Something about uh, not really giving, not really... Something about white dudes. Do you remember that? I can't remember the the uh, thing she said, but already everyone was like, I didn't want to see this movie. Now I'm cheering its flop. Then Samuel Jackson, who actually used to be a guy I like and now I can't stand him, uh, jumped in and, you know, shit all over everybody. Okay. Here's the deal. Disney is desperate and allowing them to do what they did has hurt Captain Marvel. You would think that they would know that and they do. Hence 
why the Rotten Tomatoes not interested score just suddenly disappeared and the bullshit excuse that they had for it. Hence, why they're, they're actually having schools do field trips so they can actually pat the box office. Come on! It's time for the curtain to be pulled back and everybody in Hollywood admit shoving identity politics and SJW nonsense into every fucking thing you make is a failure. There's a time and a place for politics. All the president's men. Reds, which is a shitty movie. Um, let's see what else. Uh, oh, man. Uh, what was the movie with Meryl Streep about um, the nuclear... Oh, God, I can't remember that one. Uh, you know, Full Metal Jacket. Um, you know, on and on and on and on and on. There have been political movies, and those were political movies. Time and place. Star Wars is no place to explore LGBT, XYZ, FW, PQ, whatever. Okay? So, you know... Hence, why Admiral Gender, Vice Admiral Gender Studies doesn't belong in Star Wars at all. It is no place for a Maoist uh, lecture. Sure, there was politics in um, in uh, the prequels. Guess what? They're the politics of the galaxy. If Newt Gun Gunray was named after Newt Gingrich, big fucking deal. What was going on had nothing to do with impeaching Bill Clinton. See, the rest of us ain't stupid, okay? The rest of us aren't that dumb. And George Lucas knew it because the audience was smart, okay? Guess what? The audience is still smart. Guess what? The comic book readers are still smart, okay? We know when we're being hosed. By the way, the biggest uh, country with propaganda showing up in, in uh, movies is China. They hated The Last Jedi. They hated Soylo. I can't imagine why. Because they know SJW propaganda bullshit when they see it. So you might as well have a movie that's called Star Wars and actually make it Star Wars. Okay? I'm going to leave you guys with this. It is really time for someone anywhere in Hollywood to say enough is enough. Okay? Because enough is enough. The audience is sick of it. We're t I mean, I know there are executives because I've been told that they're sick of it. Uh, the Me Too movement is dead. I mean, the moment that came out that Asia Argento had, you know, Tony Bourdain pay her boyfriend off to make him go away. And then... That turned into a fiasco with her and Rose McGowan fighting like two cats. I mean, what a joke! You know, let it go. It's time to let it go. And for the fake, for the fake, uh, for the fake feminist men like Brian Young and the rest of them, I see right through you. Okay, no man goes into an underage chat, a sex chat, ever. You're, well, how old are you, Brian? 37? Really? Oh, honey. First off, if I, if I had a daughter and she was in that chat, I'd kill her. Second of all, if I found out you were in that chat, I'd be calling the cops. Yeah, I would. All right? All right? You know, all I know is this. You probably use your words and your position to make you look cool to all these girls because you're not cool. And no one thinks you're cool. And that goes for the SJW slimy men. Okay. It's time for you guys to enter the real world and actually try to live with the rest of us instead of trying to tell us all what to do. All right. Because we're done. I'm done. I'm done. All right. I'm done. All right. It's time to take it to another level, Phantom Menace, Comic Skate. Because guess what? This is war. And if... You know, all these people want to do is take over everything and then trash it. We're not going to let them. All right? So this is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy. 
us here on the cantina. Be sure to tip your Wookiee bartender 20% and don't start any trouble because I can't control Wookiees when they start up. See you around. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry for the salty language, but uh, uh, it had to be said. Uh, it's getting out of hand. And uh, what happened to Edwin Boyette and um, what's been going on with Ethan is intolerable. And, uh, you know, I, I, I said what I was going to say. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell for more content. Hit the like button. Share, share away. And I'll see you around the cantina and you around the galaxy. Bye.